Good morning and welcome to this week's Sunday service. As you can see, this week I'm leading it from the grounds at St Michael's Church, Orson. And I'd like to thank those volunteers who regularly come to St Michael's and Holy Trinity and help maintain these church grounds uh, so that they continue to be a beautiful place for people to visit. Let us open our time together in prayer. Here we are, Creator God, Lord and Spirit, standing before you, grounded on the earth, our hands stretched high like a tree. You fill us with amazement, wonderful God, Amen. And we sing our first hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King. Rachel will now bring us our Bible reading, followed by the talk. The Parable of the Growing Seed He also said, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come. The parable of the mustard seed. Again, he said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. But when he was alone with his own disciples, 
He explained everything. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What lovely weather we've been having. And all the more better that we are surrounded by the beauty of God's creation. Seeing the trees in full leaf and filled with blossom. Seeing our bedding plants growing and filling our pots. Enjoying the colours of the rhododendrons. And it is incredible that all this started by a seed falling on the ground. We are surrounded every day with the beauty and the mystery of God's creation. A seed is an incredible thing. Within a seed are the instructions for how it should reproduce. The instructions on the colour and the size of the plant it'll give birth to, and also the instructions for that plant to produce more seed so the creation can continue. A mystery and also the beauty of God's creation. In our Bible reading today, we hear the very familiar parable of the mustard seed. And at that time, it was the smallest seed known to humanity. And although it was the smallest seed, it would grow to be a great shrub that would give shelter to birds. And Jesus is saying the kingdom is like a mustard seed. Out of small beginnings will grow something absolutely fantastic and wonderful that will give shelter to many. And just like a seed, it will be filled with mystery and instruction for the future. There may be times when we feel as if the seed of faith is so small in our lives that it won't amount to anything. But that is not true. Because if the seed of faith in our life is nurtured by the Holy Spirit, and if we are committed to a sense of duty to serve God in growing that faith in our lives, then our actions and our prayers will stretch into the future. It will add to the growth of the kingdom so that our prayers and our actions will benefit many generations to come. Amen. We sing our next hymn, Be Still for the Presence of the Lord.
We will now turn to God in prayer as Mike leads us in our intercessions. Eternal and ever-present God, visible and yet invisible, we bring our prayers for those we know and those unknown to us. We seek to journey with you and with them, to support and uphold them with prayer and love. For those who journey with illness and pain, transform them by your grace, Lord. For those searching for meaning and purpose, transform them by your grace, Lord. For those wanting to belong and yet seemingly always on the edge, transform them by your grace, Lord. For those who lack confidence in themselves, transform them by your grace, Lord. For those who have no faith, no vision for an eternal future. Transform them by your grace, Lord. For those who live with lies, secrets and untruths, transform them by your grace, Lord. For those who live without the very basic foundations of life, without food and water and homes, transform them by your grace, Lord. By praying for these, we know that we must walk and work hand in hand with you, to relieve their suffering and pain. We trust our prayers, our loving and our living to your almighty and eternal presence. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now in the notices last week, I gave you wrong information. I told you that it was going to be Father's Day on this Sunday, but it's actually Father's Day on the 20th of June. So please send in pictures of your dads for the 20th of June. And also, if you have any dad jokes, please send them in as well. But now we are going to celebrate this week's birthdays. Happy birthday to you.
Hello everyone. This last year has been a very difficult time for us all and charities have been particularly hard hit. Friday, June the 18th is the Cystic Fibrosis Trust Wear Yellow Day, a major fundraising day for the charity. We shall be out and about in Ormskirt with our collecting buckets in our customary yellow. So do stop and speak to us if you see us. But just in case you don't, there are some other ways that you can donate to our worthy charity. First way is by text. Or you can scan this QR code and that will take you to a Just Giving page where you can also donate. And if all those fail, do email us on this email address and we will give you further details of where to send any money or cheques. Thank you so much for listening and let's hope Wear Yellow Day is a big success. We are reminded that the coronavirus has not just affected us in our own communities, but it has affected people throughout the whole of the world. And so Tear Fund have produced a prayer um, from different corners of the world, praying for all those who have been affected. So let us pray. Lord, you are our refuge and strength. E ajuda-nos a não temer. As the earth is shaken. Tu no mirira ime. Tu estás con nosotros, Señor, todo poderoso. You are calling us to be still. Be still, not afraid. Nem passividade. That you will be exalted among the earth. Be still. Be creative. A être généreux. A ser amables. Believe and trust. That you are God. A estar quietos. Be mindful. A ser tu pueblo, tu amado. Lord, we bring our hopes to you. Our families. Our finances. Nossa saúde. Y en nuestra quietud. En nuestros hogares, en nuestros negocios, en nuestros hospitales. Tu saidia kuona unayo tenda. We pray for wars to cease. Oramos para que cesen las guerras, para que las armas se destruyan. Did and peace declared as we face this together. We pray for the people trapped in their homes. With those who do them harm. To help to be released and restored. We pray for communities unable to isolate. Obligés de cohabiter. Craignant d'être infecté. Ayúdalas a estar seguras y sanas. Nusalli min ajli shifa' el marda. Ivai nao. Mukushunguru tswa nukuchema kwa. Acompaña a las personas en medio de su ansiedad y aflicción. Help us to be still. As you are exalted among the nations. Exalted in all the earth. A te mesmo nesse momento. Be with us. Be our fortress, Almighty God. Amen. We sing our final hymn, We Have a Gospel to Proclaim.
Let us pray. Go in peace to love and serve God's world. It is beautiful and you are part of it. It is our sacred commission to help God love it. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.